two walkers walked there, and another walker brought the, the beast forward and fed them to the two walkers that walked there. And there'd be two walkers walked here and uh, put it into these tricks here. And one of the walkers here, but he carried it down here. How many times would it have been scotched? Oh, once. Just once? Uh -huh. Well, uh, uh, that's crimped, uh, what they call buffed. Two men, uh, many a time, worked in pairs. There was maybe a man better at buffing than he was at cleaning. And maybe the other man was better cleaning than he was buffing. What, what do you mean by buffing? Half stage. You see, we'll start her up and you'll see her go on mm -hmm. at that stage. This mill here, they would have come in here at half eight in the morning to scotch here and they woke to six o'clock and they had two tea breaks, one at eleven and the other at three. And very often they would have woke in twos. This man finished it and uh, put it to the halfway stage. This man, uh, he uh, put it in the, up in the box then. And then they could have done about uh, twelve to fourteen of those in a day there. Uh, each, each two scotches could have done twelve to fourteen stone in a day. And we've made the weight, ah, you have to be able to... <laughs> that's it there, she's just torn, you see. She laughs too, comes in, tell it. That's right. <laughs> Aye, that's the weight there, you see, which is torn over. Yeah. That, that's a stone of flax. That's a stone of flax, as it was in those days. Yeah. Mm. And what would that have been worth? At that time, 25 shillings and up to 30 shillings in old money at that time. There were six grades, that uh, up to six grade, but nobody ever got first grade. An old one got second. Plenty of five, four, five, six, and sometimes no grade at all. See, that there's cleaned. And that, that there's ready now to go to the, the spinning mill? That's ready for the spinners, yeah. yeah. That's through a carding machine. That's the early stage now of spinning. So th that's ready for spinning, aren't it? That, that's through the carding machine. Uh -huh. That's what you call a sliver. Yeah. From the flax field to a beautiful dress or a lovely tablecloth might seem like a long, long thread. But the people who love Irish linen most know exactly where it comes from. Liz Corrigan is bringing linen back to the old bleaching centre of Randallstown by selling and tailoring some beautiful fabric from a shop in the main street. Um, I'm Liz Corrigan. Uh, my business is Lizzie Nelly. Um, I sell linens uh, made locally. Um, I'm a dressmaker. I am a teacher of sewing lessons. Um, linen's really nice to work with. It really behaves itself. Um, it holds together really nicely. Um, it holds its form once the dress is made. Wearing uh, the Northern Irish local linen um, is really something special. You know that it's good quality, that it hasn't been messed with as other countries would do it. Um, it's just a really nice product and you know you've got something special when you're wearing it and it just feels really comfortable to wear and it's great. It's light in the summer and it's warm in the winter and it's just fabulous. <laughs> 